All right, guys, welcome back. It's Reviews and More. We are now testing out the Hart brand upright stick vacuum cordless from Hart. So I just said it twice. That was redundant, but I'll keep recording because I don't want to stop. So basically, this thing is from Walmart. It's Walmart's in-house uh, lithium-ion battery-powered tool uh, set. So there's a 20-volt 20 20 batteries for any of Hart's brand of uh, various power tools will work on this item just fine. So if you already have, like, the drill or some other... PC part of the heart system or the heart ecosystem, it'll work with this vacuum. The, this purchase right here was $200 and it came with a battery. It also included in that is going to be the stick vacuum brushless motor with brushless tech, uh, motor technology so it'll last longer. Floor wand, extension wand, pet upholstery tool, micro crevice tool, crevice tool, dust brush, wall mount, and one four, four amp lithium, four amp hours or Ampere's lithium ion battery, fast charger and operator's manual. So that's everything that kind of comes in the little kit. Overall, it's, this thing does work really well. It advertises that it has a maximum uh, uh, useful life, so on one battery charge of about 45 minutes. I would say that is accurate if you're not using the base, meaning the motorized portion that I actually use on carpet, which you see me, you'll see me demonstrate later on, and also if you use the eco mode. So there's an eco mode, a full power mode, and there's a mode that just turns off the brush at the bottom if you have the, um, the actual brush piece at the bottom set on the vacuum. If you have everything going full blast, including having the brush head on the bottom that's motorized, you get about 15, maybe 20 minutes, which I will be honest, this is the first time I've ever used a cordless vacuum cleaner. You can fly through rooms really fast with a cordless vacuum cleaner. You're not dragging around a cord. It's a huge convenience. And in about 15 to 20 minutes, I got this room. I also got the stairs. I got the kitchen. I took care of the upstairs. I took care of almost the entire house. Now, I wasn't getting down the crevices. I wasn't pulling the crevice tool out to get into the corners or anything. I was just kind of giving a quick quick and dirty run over the house to get dust out of the carpet off the floor. So that's kind of what I was able to get done. But it gave me 15 to 20 minutes, 20 minutes being the maximum of full power using all the various motorized attachments at full blast. So that's what you get out of it as far as one decent battery charge on the 20-volt battery that comes with it. Now, the dumping system, I'm going to say I'm not super happy with the dumping system. You see me dropping it like a moron because I'm not a good, I'm not a professional in any sense. Or oh, look at that messy bun, terrible, looking like a redneck. Okay, so here we go. It detaches pretty simply. There's a little button on the left-hand side. Pop it, it'll pop out. Be careful, it does kind of pop right out. You know what gravity is doing. But um, it's also kind of side-mounted, and it has a huge amount of suction it's very powerful and pulls up a lot from the carpet like this carpet you're going to see me demonstrate on had already been vacuumed once by my wife's dyson we're buying this kind of as a gift for somebody else and we want to test it first the dyson had already been over this room at least twice and it's still got stuff afterwards so it has a lot of suction a lot of power to it but because of the design of that canister there's not a whole lot of wiggle room to move around so it's not like it collects and then sits in one spot and then you try to dump it all out you kind of got to reach your hand in there and kind of get out all the dust bunnies so that's probably the only real flaw that i really have with the whole system other than that it's very user friendly very easy to set up um, it's a little loud it's definitely louder than a dyson i'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with a with a dyson stick vacuum in this one although the dyson being almost 400 dollars and this one being 200 or basically, it won't, it won't be an apples to apples comparison, but it'll be decent to see for people who are maybe making the choice between going with like a Dyson brand, which is very like champagne taste expensive, or the Hart brand, which is kind of like quick and dirty, blue collar y kind of product. Now, as far as use, it's pretty easy. Hit the button, takes about three to four, maybe three seconds to warm up and start going real fast. Um, I will say this, the suction is strong enough to where you take this thing onto a rug, it sucks the rug up with it and it will move the rug around. So you got to kind of make sure the rug is held down pretty tightly. So if you just have a loose rug sitting around, maybe like a kitchen or a bedroom, it'll suck up and move the rug with it because the suction is so powerful. So just keep that in mind as you're using it. It, it works very, very well. The brush is easily detached from it. Um, you're going to see that in just a moment for easy maintenance. The only moving parts on this are, in, are internal to the actual vacuum, which you can't access easily as well as the brush head on the front that you see me kind of operating there just to test out the, mo the mobility of it. In just a moment, you'll see me kind of pop that out and, sh and show you how to do maintenance on that and pull out anything that gets wrapped around it, clean the brush out once it gets used pretty heavily over time. It's a little side-mounted bracket right here. You flip it down, and it just pulls the whole spool right out. The brush comes out completely. You can clean it off. You can wipe it down. You have a uh, mixture of 
tough nylon and soft nylon uh, bristles in there, and you can feel the difference in them, so it's not just bull crap they tell you. They are a mixture of different bristles to pull up different material. And now, real fast, we're going to have the actual sound of this thing. It is loud, so just be ready for that. So noise warning incoming. Three, two, one. Yeah, sorry about that. It is very, very loud. So I will, but it also with that loudness comes effectiveness. It does functionally work. It has a three-year warranty on it, which is kind of nice. This is me actually vacuuming. Sorry, you got to see my nasty feet, but I don't wear shoes in the house because shoes were outside, and that's how carpets get dirty. But you see me kind of rolling through here, just getting all this stuff up. And keep this in mind: this room had just been vacuumed by a Dyson stick vacuum. That's basically, I'm, I wouldn't say they were, these are competitors, but they serve the same purpose in theory. So running through this room. It's actually going to pull out a set of dust bunnies about maybe the size of a, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an equivalent, about the size of a D battery. So you're going to pull out a good bit of material out of this carpet and dust and everything else that is just popped in over the last two days or the Dyson did not get. And again, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Dyson and this heart one uh, probably the next few days and I'll, I'll upload it separately. But overall, really happy with it. This, will make, this is going to make a great gift because I have a family member who uses some of the heart battery operated stuff already so it kind of helps out and keeps things in the same ecosystem but it's very versatile it weighs less than eight pounds as it as it is right now with everything attached to it just like that so overall it's pretty awesome and i'm actually very very happy with it i was surprised how well it worked um for effectively I, i'm not going to say it's bad but like a walmart brand more or less but here you see the results Got a little D battery size wad in there. Nothing gigantic, but keep in mind the carpet had been cleaned heavily prior to this. So if you don't clean the carpet for a week or two, you're going to get a whole lot more. So just keep that in mind. Overall, really happy with it. I ran this thing again through the whole house. The entire thing was full. Like it filled it up and it never lost suction. So that I didn't film that portion. I apologize. But it did not lose suction after going through the whole house and filling that thing up to the point that I had to like dig it out with my hand. It still kept the suction, which was pretty cool. So overall, really happy with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And have a great day.